Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Mandy here. Today we are going to be doing a 45 minute long at home bar workout that you can do with really minimal equipment. So all you need is a Pilates ball, which is like 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll include a link in the description below, as well as a set of light weights. I'm going to use three pounds today for this class. Since this class is only gonna be about 45 minutes, I'm gonna add weights into almost every exercise. So we'll be using those the whole time, working those arms and getting the most out of this full body workout. Very excited to have you guys joining me. So let's begin with our warm up. Take your feet out nice and wide, very far. Inhale, reach your hands up really high. And exhale, come down into a forward fold here. Let's just look back behind you and shake your head yes. And relax, relax, shake your head, no. Go ahead and release a little bit into this deep stretch in the back of your legs. You can drop one side of the hips here, right, and then drop left side, kind of stretching out your inner thighs a bit. Pause in the middle and walk your hands to the right, leaning over that right leg. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's bend the left knee. Inner thigh stretch, straighten it out. Another deep bend, left knee and straighten walk those hands over to the left leg now hinging over it kind of exhale into it stretch out the back of your leg and then bend your right knee inner thighs another inhale exhale bend down let's come back to neutral hands to the middle here turn your fingertips to face the back wall and spread out your shoulder blades kind of round through your back you can bend your knees and just walk those hands behind you Oh, good job, good job. Round through the shoulders of it. Like I said, spread them apart here. And when you're ready, release. Left hand down on the ground underneath your chest and raise your right arm up for a twist. Let's try to keep your hips even as opposed to popping the right hip up. Let's send it down, twist through your upper body. Roll out your wrists at the top. And replace your left hand with right and reach your left arm up once again. You want to pop up that hip, I know, but send it down, stretch through your torso here. Roll out the wrist at the top. When you're ready, release. Soft bend in both knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Three, two, one, shoulders roll back. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, right arm goes down to your hip, side stretch. Come back through the center, inhale, left hand down on the hip, and exhale. Just getting everything warmed up, we're ready to go. Come back through the center, let's do a nice little cactus, open heart, open chest. Inhale, lift. One more time, little cactus, little lean back. Reach up again and relax those hands down. Very good. Heel toe your feet in, and we're gonna start off by facing the top of your mat, feet hip distance apart with a little chair here. The booty will go back, bring your hands to heart, and then stand up, press those hands back. Sit down into your chair and press. <sighs> Starting to just warm up your legs, <sighs> a little bit of the back here when you press those hands back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, press. <sighs> now notice my toes are up. <sighs> The weight is in the heels, and I'm taking my booty to the back of my mat as much as I can. Down and press. Five, four, three, two, last one. Sit down and add your pulse here. Toes are up. Keep your knees really still, and just send those hips back. Down and back. Eight, seven, flex your core, look out in front of you. Four. Three, two, and one. Stand up, lift your right knee, lift your left knee. Right, left. Every time you go back to that chair, place your foot confidently down on the ground, sit back. Great job. I'm just getting your heart rate up here. We're gonna add in those weights soon, warming up your whole body. Four more. Three, two, last one, sit in your chair and hold. See if you can reach your hands out in front. Send your shoulder blades down, open them up. Let those legs burn a bit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, stand up. 
Exhale, take those hands down and step to a lunge. Right foot goes back here. Very nice, when you're ready, inhale, reach your hands up. Back knee goes down, heel pops up in the back here. Bend your back knee one inch. Good job. So instead of pressing back into your heel like this, I actually want you to lift the heel, hold it in place, bend your knee. This is how we warm up the quads. One little baby inch here. The front knee doesn't go past the ankle, it stays back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hands come to heart. We're gonna twist over to the left, straighten that back leg. It's gonna be tough, okay? And then come back to the middle. Twist and straighten, come back slow. Twist and straighten, come back slow. Flex your core as you twist, come back. Now lock in your gaze to help with balance. Three more, two, Hold your twist, straighten that leg, hold it. You can touch the outer thigh or you can have your chest up a little further. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to neutral. Back heel is up, inhale, stand to the sky. Walk it out, walk it out. Exhale, left foot goes back. Heel up, knee down, hands to heart, bend it an inch. Good job, good job. Shoulders are stacked over hips. You got your core still flexed and we're gonna do that twist again. Remember, you have to lock in your gaze to help you with balance. Look at the ground, look where you wanna go. Six, five, four, three, two, hold it. Let's straighten and twist. Come back, straighten and twist and come back. If you lose your balance, no worries. Just catch yourself, pause for a moment, take it slow and come back in. Three more, two, here's your hold in that twist. Back leg is straight, hands pressed together. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten it back out. Knee is down, heel is up. Let's get a little deeper. Very good, inhale, stand up, woo, exhale, release it. Go ahead and grab your weights. We're gonna bring them into the class and keep them the rest of the time pretty much. So light weights again, and if they become too much, keep in mind they're optional. Let's take those feet out as wide as you can, comfortably, toes 45 degrees here. Second position, rest the weights down in your hip creases here. Very good, take a deep breath in and shift your knees side to side, really small here, small. Right, left, right, left. Flex your core, see how low you can go, and immediately start to feel the burn in your thighs. In those quads, six, five, four, keep it small, three, two, hold, pulse up, up. When you come up, squeeze your glutes together, squeeze your inner thighs as you lift. Use that little flex to lift you up. Great job, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Reach your hands down in front, full range. We're gonna lift up into a T and then take those hands down. Lift, T. Those knees track in the direction of your toes and we don't wanna really lock them out at the top like a little jerk. We wanna keep them pretty soft. Control is the name of the game. In a second, we're gonna add a little hammer curl down at the bottom here. In four, three, two. Sit down, give that hammer curl, and then lift back up. Hammer curl, and lift. You're just adding on. And stand. When you stand up, your inner thighs squeeze, as well as those glutes. Three, two, last one, come up, sit back down, hold right here, hold it. Take a deep breath in, exhale, get a little bit deeper if you can, and reach your hands out in front. We're gonna open them to the side and close. There's a soften in the elbows. Breathe, in, out. Four, three, two, 
Interlace your fingers in front, stand up, ballerina arms overhead, take them back down. Stand up, take them back down. Let's see if you can get a little deeper on this next sit. Down and lift. Very nice. Inhale, exhale. Three more, elbows are bent. Two, last one up. Come down and hold right here. We're gonna circle those weights around into the chest like you're stirring a cauldron here. Take it around. Turn in the butter, around. Good job. Five, four, three, two. Take a pause here, switch directions. Use your arms, big circle. Shoulders are burning a little bit. Four, three, two. Weights into the chest, hold right here. Bend those knees, get into the quads again. A little lower, a little lower. You can do it, let them burn. Five, four, three. Make this movement small. Two, and one. Woo. Give me a little shimmy, do a little break here. Woo. You're crushing it, I promise you are, you are, all right? So stay with me and remember, if you need to drop your weights, drop your weights. I really do not mind. Pick them back up again when you're ready. Come back down into second position. Weights into the chest, we're gonna punch to the side. Little twist and twist. Reach, reach. Flex your core from side to side. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Punch it forward and back. Five, four, three, two. Back to your twist. Go left. And right. Every time we pull back into the chest, if your legs need a break, simply straighten them up a little bit. If they need to be challenged more, sit down. Six, five, four, three, two. Weights into the chest. Now stand up, reach forward, pull back. Up, down, up, down. <laughs> I had to catch myself there for a second. Okay, we're gonna transition from second position into a sumo squat. In four, three, two, weights into those hip creases and sit down. Second position, we've got our tailbone normally right underneath the shoulders, okay, like so. Now we're gonna go to sumo, tilting your chest forward a bit and your booty pops back a bit. All right, when you found yourself here, we're gonna get really deep into those inner thighs. Bend your legs nice and low. Let's reach those weights down in front and fly. Good job. Control the movement up and down. Up and down. Inhale, exhale. Four, three, two. Hold them down in front here and pulse back. Remember, booty is back, chest is hinging forward just a little bit, you have a flat spine. Right now, I can feel this all under my legs and in my inner thighs, okay? Sometimes I get a little sore from this um, in my hamstrings and inner thighs. Five, four, three, two. Place those weights back in your hip creases. We're gonna stand up over to the right. Stand up and come to your sumo squat. Stand up, sumo. When you stand up, heels together, toes are out. That's your first position. So first, sumo. First, sumo. Good job. Your right leg is supporting you on the way up, but your left leg is powering you to get there. Try to step wide. Three, two, last one. Switch to your left. Sumo, left. First, sumo. First, sumo. Good job. Bend those knees, get low. Let the weights rest where they are in your hip creases. Are you breathing? Four, three, two. Last one out and stand up. Give your legs a little shake. 
Maybe kick the booty, okay? <laughs> Inhale, hands up. Exhale, let them go. Inhale, reach them back up. Exhale, let them go. Great. Keep your weights in hand. We're going to take our focus into some balance work, okay? So your left leg bends and your right toes point out to the side. If your knee's locked out like mine right now, bend it. There you go. Toes point out to the side here. Arms out to the side. We're going to go ahead and bicep curl. Lift the leg. Lift that leg. Squeeze and tap. Squeeze and tap. All right. I pick a spot on the floor to look at to kind of help me with my balance. You do what works for you. Curl. Curl. Five. Four. Three. Two. Lift up. Hold it. Reach those arms out to the side a little bit. Bend the knee and kick. Bend and kick. Shoulders down. Shoulder blades tucking down into your back pockets there if you had some. Five. Four. Three. Two. Leg goes out, hold it. It can be just a hover above the floor. I'm fine with that. Arms out, in. Perfect. Out, in, out, in. Five, four, three, two. Pull them in, bend the knee, reach, bend the knee, reach. Putting everything together in one. Out, in, out, in. Flex your quad on the way out. Four, three, two, hold it. Lift that leg up a little bit more. Relax. Give me a little shimmy. If your toes need to be stretched or your foot needs to be kind of stretched out, you can do that now. Take a deep breath. Reset. Place the weight into your right leg with a soft bend. That left leg goes out, palms to the side. Curl and lift that leg. Lift and lower. Are your abs tight? Is your right knee bent? Are you flexing the biceps at the top? Squeeze and tap. Squeeze and tap. Six, five, four, three, two. Lift that leg. Reach those hands out. Bend the knee, kick. Bend the knee, kick. Right knee has that soft bend still. So if you locked it out, place your bend back into it, okay? Flex your quad on the extension. Five, four, three, two. Leg goes out, high or low. Reach your hands in, out. Look at the floor, maybe look at something in your room that's still focused on stabilizing yourself. Six, five, four, three, two, pull it in, bend the knee, everything goes together, reach out, in, out, in. Great job. Breathe through this, keep that leg up. Four, three, two, hold it out, hold it out, relax. Woo wee, all right, good job. Drop off those weights. Let's go ahead and step back into a lunge. Doesn't matter which side I'm gonna have you switch. Drop your back knee and curl the toes. Hands come up to your thigh. Stretch out your hip flexors. Whew, all right. Let's make sure the front knee isn't coming past the ankle. Kind of lean back a little bit and focus on that hip flexor stretch. You've been lifting up your leg for a while. It probably needs a break, okay? Let's set the hips back. This is a half split where you hinge forward. Reach your chest over toward the toes, pull those toes up. And then shift forward and switch out your legs, however you comfortably can, all right? Take the opposite one forward, you're in a low lunge. Bring your hands to your thigh. Apply a little bit of pressure and lean back. It's all right here in that stretch, the front of the thigh. Very good. Deep breath in. Exhale, let's set the booty back into a half split. You can rest your fingertips on the floor. Take your chest forward, pull the toes up, deep breath. Exhale, lean down into it a little bit. Perfect. Shift forward and tabletop for me. All right, 
Grab one weight is all you'll need for this. The other one's probably close by, but we don't need that right now. Grab one weight in your right hand. Look straight down at the floor. Go ahead and pull your belly button from here up, flexing it nice and tight, okay? Right elbow goes straight up in the air, and we're gonna extend the left leg back. Here we go. Lift that leg, tricep kick back. Kick. Soft bend in your left elbow. I just noticed I had mine locked out. So go ahead and add a soft bend into it. Try to keep your arm lifted. Squeezing your glute and squeezing your tricep. Five, four, three, two. Lift and hold, pulse your leg, pulse the hand. If this is too much for you, you can place both hands on the floor, ditch the weight and just focus on your back leg. Five, four, three, two. We're gonna bend in, pull the knee in, pull the weight in, and extend. Reach, reach. Let's do your best to keep that elbow lifted. Extending your toes long, look straight down at the floor. Three, two, last one release. Drop your weight off. Both hands come to the floor. Extend your left leg straight back again. Lift it up. Bend the knee. Pulse the toes. Tiny, tiny, tiny movement here. I want you to keep your heel pulling into your glute. Press into your left hand and focus on that backside here. Your hamstring and your booty. Little lift, little lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Knee goes down and press, down and press. Let's try to feel the resistance on the way up and on the way down. When you lift up, you have a small shake in your glute. Small shake in that left cheek. Four, three, two. Hold it up, flex your heel in and kick. Okay, I want you to lift your knee, flex your core, keep the abdomen tight, and squeeze it in. Focusing on your hamstring right now. Just let that sweat drip off of you. You're doing fantastic at home, I promise. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. You can set it back, take a little stretch. Ah, rest, very good. And let's go ahead and grab that weight back into the right hand, okay? Perfect. Reset. Belly goes up. And from here, we're going to pull that elbow up again. Okay? Extend it back and add a little bend and extend. A very small bend and extend. Perfect. Notice how my arm is just barely bending one inch and then I lift it back up. Six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it and release. Roll that weight over into your left hand. We're gonna go ahead and place weight into the right palm and extend your right leg back. Take a deep breath here. Lift the elbow up and extend the leg and arm. Lift, lift. Flex your core, flex your right glute and flex the back of the left arm, your tricep there right above the elbow. Extend and tap. I am right here with you, just sweating so much, looking straight down at the mat, watching it drip off. It is tough. Four, three, two, hold it up, little pulse. If you can, you wanna get that weight above your hip. Your back is a long line because your chin is up and you're looking straight down. Six, five, four, three, two, here's your full pull in and your extension out. Inhale long, exhale pull. Inhale long, exhale pull. Keep your back flat. It's not moving with you. Three more. Two. Last one. Hold it up there. Woo, you got it, you got it, you got it. Let's go ahead and drop that weight off. Bend your knee and pulse the toes up. Let's go ahead and pull the heel in toward the glute a little bit more if you can do that. Focus on sculpting the back of the leg. Six, five, four, three, 
two, knee goes down and press. Knee down and press. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Squeeze, resistance on the way up and down. <sighs> Four, three, two, lift and hold. Feel your little shake, flex the heel and kick, kick. Your standing leg, that supporting leg, is feeling the burn as well, but you are crushing this. Flex those tight abs. Six, five, four, three, two, squeeze. Hold, hold, hold. Press the heel up. Take a deep breath in and relax. That knee can go down. Grab your weight again. Lift up the elbow. Extend it long and straight. And then bend one inch, press. Bend one inch, press. It is just the back of your arm. Focus right here above the elbow, okay? That's your tricep right there. Focus on the squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax and lean back. Whew. Take your legs out long. Stretch out the back and the hamstrings. Inhale, hands lift up. Exhale, fold. If you want to get water anytime, you're always welcome to do that. Just click pause, grab some water, okay? You don't even need to click pause, all right? Just skip a minute, grab yourself some water, and come back into it when you're ready. Roll all the way up. Roll your shoulders back. One more big roll. Good job. It's time to grab your ball. All right, if you don't have a ball, you can also place a pillow behind your back. That works great, too. All right. Shimmy on into the middle of the mat. Wedge that ball at your tailbone, making a little bunny tail back there and lean down on it. I want you to knit your rib cage together. And instead of flaring things out, tuck it in. All right, there you go. Grab those weights, reach them out in front. They're coming back into the picture. Act like you're rowing, pull back and reach. Pull back and reach. Now this movement isn't gonna be too big. You do have that ball back there. It's limiting you a bit. Let your belly start to feel a little bit of intensity. Pull, six, five, four, three, two. Reach those hands up right here. Lean back if you're not. Go ahead and extend your right leg. Tap the weights down and lift. Tap and lift. Leg and arms, same time. Up, down. Soften in your elbows. They might be locked out. So go ahead and just bend them just a bit out to the side there. Six, five, four, three, two. Lift your leg, but bring the weights into the chest. Twist to your left and center. Left and center. Breathe through this. If you need to modify, of course, the leg will just drop down. No problem. Five, four, three, two. Last one. Weights come into the center. Reach them up. Pull down. Up. Pull down. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, hands come up, hold, knee into the chest, knee out, in, out. Modification, hands can go down, a little tougher, hands will go up higher. Six, five, abs are tucked in, three, two, and one. Relax, adjust your tail if you need to, wedging that ball back in its place. Grab your weights a second time. Hold them here, deep breath, and we're gonna go ahead and row again. Reach and pull. Squeeze the core, knit the rib cage together. Let your exhale out every time you flex. Five, four, three, Two, lean back, simply hold, extend the leg out. We're gonna lift those hands up and down with your leg. A little bit of shoulders, legs and abs. Small shake, breathe, most importantly, breathe. Six, five, four, three, 
two. Hover your leg, weights into chest, twist right and center, right and center. Modification, of course, the toes just lower down to the floor. Six, five, four, three, two. Come into the center, reach up, down, up, down. Inhale, exhale, five, four, three, two, hands up, knee comes in, out. There's a small little shake when you pull it in, in, out, in, out. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, lift up. Oh, that was a really tough core set there. Let's take the soles of the feet together. You can kind of butterfly your knees out to the side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hinge forward into it a little bit. Apply pressure to your inner thighs. Great. We're gonna do some side booty with some added weight after we finish up the core, all right? Take that ball and place it in between your shoulder blades at the very top and then lay down. We're gonna take a break from the weights, so just leave them hanging on your mat. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Lift your chin, look up to the ceiling. Inhale, lean back, exhale, crunch. Good job. If this seems a little bit easy for you, you can move that ball down toward your tailbone, down the spine, and that's going to make things a little tougher. Let's keep those elbows wide. The legs will come into the picture, all right? Six, five, four, three, two. Hold up, I told you they'd come in, kick them up. All right, if all of a sudden you realize the ball needs to go up higher, adjust, that is okay. Let's go ahead and bend those knees into a tabletop. Extend your right and then your left. Option to take your elbows down to the ground if you need to, it's gonna to be tough with this ball. Reach, reach, lengthen your legs, tabletop out, tabletop out, tabletop. Five, four, three, two, tabletop, hold. Let's do heels together, toes out, that's your first position. If your ribs opened up, tuck them down, hold here. Draw those heels in toward your body and press them away. In toward the body, press. So I started up here and I was like, that's a little easy, let me take it lower. You can do the same thing, in, reach out, in, reach out. When you reach out, inner thighs flex together, they go in and back. Five, four, three, two, first position, hold. Squeeze your legs all the way down, okay? Squeeze, 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 pulse your shoulders up. Modification, guys, take your tippy toes to the floor. Woo, good job. Make it a baby crunch. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, relax and lean back. That was tough. Ah, I kept your abs very um, flexed for quite some time. Deep breath in, exhale. <sighs> Lift your body up, keep that ball and roll over onto your side. You're gonna take that ball in between your hip bone and your rib cage, right there on the side and lean down on it. Perfect. Now, we don't need the weights just yet. So if one's in the way, move it. Okay, <sighs> rest on the ball, bring your knees into the chest. Close, into the, close is all I need really. All right, and extend that top leg out. Hand comes behind your head, little crunch. Sorry, reach that bottom hand out, little crunch. Squeeze elbow to knee and lean. This is your side crunch with the obliques, okay? Keep an eye on things here with this hand. Tendency is to kind of let your elbow drop down and bear a lot of the weight for you or to keep your form. You're not gonna get as good of a workout like this, okay? The better it will be is if, I said that totally wrong. It will be better <laughs> if you can place less weight in that bottom hand, okay? In and out. 
Give me that big side crunch. Five, four, three, two. Hold, 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 hold. You got it, you got it, you got it. Squeeze that knee close and relax it. Good job. Keep that hand overhead. We're gonna leave the legs where they are and I just want you to pulse up with your side. Perfect. Exhale, squeeze. Six, five, four, three, two. Squeeze and hold. Last thing, I want you to reach your hand out overhead and then reach down toward the end of your mat. Rainbow it over. Rainbow it back. Inhale, exhale. Of course, the bottom arm is there to support you as needed. Majority, though, of the work comes from your waist, okay? Four, three, two, hold up, squeeze. You got it, you got it, you got it. Flex the waist and relax. You can actually lean all the way down over your ball and take a breath here. Let it out, very, very good. When you're ready, simply move the ball out of the way, okay? We don't need it, we're gonna take a little break from it and you can rest your head down in your hands, okay? Grab that one weight that you misplaced earlier that you moved and we're gonna bring both knees into the chest. The key here, I'm gonna move back so you can see me better. The key here is to extend that top leg out. Rest the weight either closer to the knee, not on the knee, closer to the knee, that's gonna be hard. Take it back toward your booty, a little easier. And from here, tap the ground and lift. Just close those thighs and lift. The hand is just resting on the weight to hold it in place, but it is not supporting it. Your leg is supporting it. Try to get your ankle in line with the hip so your body's making a 90 degree angle. We go up and down, up and down. Pressure is already building. Great job, three, two, lift and hold. Make your small circle with the toes. Remember, the fingers are just barely holding that weight on. If you need to move it up the thigh, move it up the thigh, no problem, all right? Just work your side booty. Abs are still flexed and firm. Five, four, three, point those toes, two. Now look at your toes. Keep that leg in line with your hip. Lift one little inch. I know you're gonna kill me. I'll let you give yourself a little spank after this. How about that? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull it in, give yourself that little, little pat back there. Good job. Circle the knee if you want. All right, fantastic. I would need you to grab that ball and roll over onto your other side. Okay, place it now, once again, in between your hip bone and rib cage. You lay down on it, okay? Knees come in pretty close, <sighs> perfect. Top leg goes out, bottom arm goes out. Hand behind your head, squeeze elbow to knee. <sighs> Side crunch, up and down, up and down. Control it, <sighs> control it. <sighs> perfect. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, six, Five, four, three, two, hold up close, get it really close, flex your abs, and then let it go. Just pulse up. Knees can stack on top of each other. Your bottom arm is out, just flex, flex. This is all about your waist. If you need it easier, you move the ball higher to your shoulder. Harder, ball goes lower toward your hip. Six, five, four, three, two. Rainbow that hand overhead and then over toward the wall. Take it overhead and to the wall. Squeeze, lift those shoulders. Lift those shoulders, you're almost through today. Five more, four, three, two, last one, reach and hold. Relax over the ball, deep breath, good job. We're gonna bring those weights in for your side booty and soon enough we're about to cool things off, I promise. I do not lie about those things. 
You'll never catch me saying, oh, just eight more after this. No, no, no. If I say eight, that means eight. No more, no less. All right, let's go ahead and lift up. <sighs> Remove that ball. It is done for now, so you can let it roll away. Place your head in your hand and grab that spare weight. Shimmy yourself into a comfortable position. I'm gonna go back so you can see my whole leg. All right, once you're there, knees come in really close. Top leg goes out. Let's do 90 degrees between the toes, the hip, and the shoulder. Rest the weight close to the knee, hard, really high up by your hip, easier, okay? And then we're gonna lower and lift, lift. It's only going up a little higher than hip height. Let those fingers just hold the weight in place, but they're not actually supporting the weight. Your leg is supporting the weight. We lift, we lift. Get those side, side legs. Lift, six, five, four, three, two. Hold and give me your controlled circle about the size of your ball. Take it around, take it around. I know you're about ready to punch that TV by now. These are tough. Around four, three, two. Hold it, lift one inch, lift one inch. Remember, easiest way to make it or to modify is to move the weight up your leg. Lift, lift, lift. Six, five, four, three, two, one let that weight go give your knee a hug give yourself that little spank back there if you want it circle the leg around and take a deep breath very nice when you're ready when you feel good the last thing we will do today is a little bit extra arms and then we're gonna cool things down come over onto your, into your tabletop position all right and then from here I want you to go ahead and walk the knees or hands out to modified plank okay so tabletop, modified plank. Notice the back of my head down to the back of my knees is at a long diagonal line, okay? Elbows tuck in, turn the creases of the arms forward like so. Tuck those elbows in and bend just a little bit, okay? I don't need you to lower your chest all the way down and press. If you're very strong, you can lift up into a full plank, you can do a full tricep push up all the way down to the ground, all the way down to your mat. That's fine with me, but I'm more concerned about your form and you not slumping down and slumping up and moving around, okay? Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set those hips back, reach your hands out, take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go, sink into it and shift your weight forward here. Bend those elbows, turn the crease of the arms forward, get close to your rib cage, bend and press. Flex your core, look down at the mat. Four, three, two, hold your bend. I don't need you low, I just need good form. Five, four, three, two, set it back. Woo, reach those hands out and you made it through class today. Good job, guys. Take your knees out and your toes together behind you. Child's pose. Reach those hands forward. Let your back shift down in between your thighs here. Let your belly drop and release. Walk your hands over to the right side. Take left palm on top of right. That's gonna stretch out your obliques that we just worked a few minutes ago, okay? So embrace this stretch, reach through it. If you made it all the way through this class, take the extra few minutes to actually do the cool down. You need to stretch out your muscles. You worked them pretty hard and wanna prevent a little bit of soreness you might feel tomorrow. Let's walk those hands over to the left. Take your right palm on top of left. Exhale, drop that chest down. You did so great today. If you enjoyed this workout, please be sure to share it with your friends. I would really appreciate that if you would share my videos to your Facebook or Instagram, whatever it is, if you liked it and you feel like other people would benefit as well. Come back to center. Let's shift forward into your tabletop. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, lower your belly. Exhale, round. Tuck your chin. Inhale, lower that belly. Exhale, round, tuck the chin. One more time, belly goes down. And tuck the chin. Perfect. 
Go ahead and sit the booty back. Let's take right arm across left. Instead of holding your elbow or wrist, let's go ahead and hold the forearm and stretch across. Sitting up nice and tall. Nice. And take your left arm across, holding that forearm. And come back to the center. Roll out those wrists. Take them all the way around after all those planks. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Right arm down for a side stretch. Look to the ceiling underneath. Inhale, back through the middle. Left arm goes down, side stretch. And come back to center. Release both hands down. Whew. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did great today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Just go ahead and drink some water and relax now. You've gotten your workout done for the day. Leave a comment below on what you liked best about this video or a request for another video. I would love to take your request and put that into my next workout. Thanks guys so much. Have an awesome rest of your day.